Hey everybody, welcome to the Week in Review for Module 6. All right, let's talk about Module 5 and let's have a moment of silence. Uh, may Module 5 rest in peace. Yes, the, the, great, uh, the great catastrophe of bright space of uh, spring 2017. Uh, what happened in Module 5 with bright space towards the end of the week, uh, I have never seen anything like that before. We have... Um, we have been using oh, probably for six years, seven years, um, God, it might be almost eight. We've been using uh, Brightspace um, by uh, Desire to Learn, and it has been very, I'd say, very rock solid for us. There's been some uh, minor hiccups, as you would expect with any kind of, you know, web-based application, but the outages have been limited to maybe hours or minutes. We've never had anything like this. So as we were getting into this and we were watching it unfold, um, which really, the, I guess, the reason for this is that uh, Brightspace is a, uh, is a company or Desire to Learn, which is the larger parent company. They're located in Canada, and they do business all over the world uh, with their Brightspace platform. And apparently their Brightspace platform became disconnected to the World Wide Web and the addresses for that were gone. So basically what that means is, uh, I don't pretend to know a lot about the internet, but as far as when you uh, put in your browser bar, you know, to point in the direction of Brightspace, and that's basically what you do when you click on a link within, um, within Mercy College, is it points your computer to that direction. The signal would go out, but then it wouldn't know where to go. Uh, because your servers, whatever internet service that you're using, wouldn't know where that address was, wouldn't recognize it. It had disappeared off of basically the face of the earth. And Brightspace had the problem fixed relatively quickly. I think, you know, within probably an hour or two, they had reestablished the connection. What the problem was is that every one of these server type nodes all over the earth had to update this new information. So that took quite a while where um, even like right here where I'm at, I've had one computer on one network that would recognize it because it uses a different path to go to the Internet versus the one I'm shooting this video on had no outage at all. <clears throat> and uh, some folks were telling me I can get it on my phone because but I can't get it on my uh, you know wireless at, at home, which would be true because you're probably pulling off a of 4G network. Uh, and accessing a different way to it. So it really depended on how your computer was reaching out to the internet on how quickly you got access. Well, with that being said, we had students that were out of access until Saturday um, morning. Usually, I think by Saturday afternoon, um, mid-afternoon, everything was cleared up for everybody. But I did extend the module due dates for module five to this Wednesday, right now today. Uh, so all those assignments uh, would be in today. Um, except for one of them, and that was the part two of our class project. I did extend that all the way to the end of this module, module six. So you have until Sunday. All right, so that's a little bit about the module five. Let us never have anything like that again. I hope we never do. Again, pretty much, a, I guess, a fluke occurrence. I'm sure somebody lost their job up in Canada because of that. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on this uh, this week. Let's go to our content here. Now we are in module, uh, moving on to a new module, module six. We've got our normal readings and presentations. Remember, if there's any extra credit opportunities, hint, hint, send those, um, those extra credit opportunities to me directly. You have my email address. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, that means you're telling me I know that you're not watching the, the video lectures uh, throughout the week and you're missing out on a few bonus points. I do believe this might be the last week for them. I don't remember. Uh, I might have some embedded in seven, but I'm not. I don't quite know. So this may be it. All right. So we've got that. All right. So our normal reading and presentations, uh, our weekly assignments, um, uh, that we're doing kind of the same old uh, thing there. Pick a couple of terms. Make sure you're using your the in your own words part on that. 
uh, vast majority have been really, really good uh, with that. Those of you that are copying and pasting out of the textbook, I do kind of give you a fair warning shot on that, uh, but do try to put that in your in your own words. We've got our discussion this week uh, on long-term care services, which I think is interesting. I mean, obviously, someday we're all going to be using, uh, if we're, or maybe, or no, someone will be using long-term care services at some point. So I think this is a, a touchstone, a touch point with almost all of us. Um, so that's uh, a very relevant topic. Uh, our normal quiz this week, and then going into uh, part three of the project. So part three isn't that bad. It's pretty light. Uh, part two was... Um, the yeoman's work that was that's why i extended that for a full two weeks so you could complete that you're definitely going to be using that part two in uh, part four you're going to be using part three and part four which is coming up soon this week you're doing a little bit of uh making some of those uh charts remember we kind of goofed around with that a little bit a couple of modu modules ago just kind of warming you up to the idea now we're going to put some of that practice into a, I guess, a more beefy assignment. So you're going to be doing uh, these charts here. So make sure that you follow all the directions on that. And again, that this one should not be too difficult. Uh, historically, students say it doesn't take them that much time at all. Um, then uh, down here, you'll find the drop boxes to both the part two, which we started uh, almost about a week and a half ago as of Wednesday, but it'll be two weeks by the end of Sunday, two weeks ago. And then uh, we've got the, uh, the part three here. So make sure you get both of those in to avoid any late penalties. Um, all right, so that's kind of the one twist this week uh, where we're having that, ex that kind of extended period on part, uh, part, um, uh, part two. Okay, and then our normal kind of uh, reflection uh, that we're doing this week. So great job uh, keeping up with the reflections. Okay, so that pretty much concludes uh, the week in review. I think we have all the issues covered with Brightspace, hopefully. Hopefully we won't see anything like that ever happen again. Um, but again, thank you so much for your patience as we kind of dealt all through that. Uh, and again, some of you weren't even impacted. It's totally at, pretty much uh, almost at random on who was completely in the dark and who wasn't with the uh, with the Brightspace outage. All right, well, that concludes the Week in Review for Module 6. And as always, thanks for watching.